Hey, what's up guys, your boy Ice Mesh324 here, welcome back to another discussion video. And today I'm going to be talking about my predictions and thoughts on Smash Bros. Ultimate version 3.0 and see what I think is going to be in the game, this update, and some stuff that could be improved on um, not just online, but on many features that they should work on and return as well. But before we start, guys, if you please smash that like button as up as usual. And comment down on what you guys want in Smash Bros. version 3.0. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. Our first, my first thing on a list a lot of people are talking about is the return of me costumes. Yes, I think they're going to make a return as well. And it's going to be kind of, I guess they'll give us an idea how they'll show it, but I'm not sure if it's going to be just confirming characters. Or anything like that, but we just be an old fashioned like, representation of certain like video games, like video game series. But it could mean it's hard to tell about the confirmed characters, in my opinion, but I don't think it will be. But I do believe that me fighter costumes are going to be returning as well, and it's going to be like Smash 4 where we buy them, in, or if you, you, they'll be on, you'll, you'll be have the ability to buy them, I should say, and they'll be available. On Nintendo eShop for purchase. Now, I believe me Fire Cousin will be interesting. But I mean, I don't. I will not. I'm not gonna waste money on my on me fighters unless you're gonna have Proto Man back. And <laughs> but um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of me fighter fighters they'll bring into this time. Another thing I like to talk about is online. Let's be honest. Online is crap, and it's bad enough that the matchmaking system has been fucking up a little bit once in a while here and there. But it's getting better. But it could do even great, especially if they were to do more work on the servers. And it's kind of sad how Nintendo wants us to use LAN cables. In reality, they could just upgrade the servers and everything, and make it a better online experience. Because right now it's kind of getting worse, especially through Smash. Like similar to how we have it in Smash 4 and Brawl, and I think it could get better with some tinkering here and there, and it, it could be better, guys. I believe Nintendo could do a better job, and they should think they should consider doing so with more features and how and a couple other stuff as they go. If when they announce the version they brought out, another thing I like to I think I'm going to talk about is the app. Smash Worlds, I think they're going to talk about in the update, and for those who don't know or don't remember, in t um, Sakurai mentioned that there's this new app that's going to be launching for service where you can post and post vids, videos, and replays and screenshots um, of, your, of your, your, your games, of your matches, and he has not set a confirmed date, but I do believe it's going to be a launch right on the release date maybe after the, the the smash direct or nintendo direct if the leak is true which by the time it's recording there's a leak going that's going to be on the 11th or of uh, or 18th april direct i think it's possible but i don't think so and i do believe they're going to show joker information or joker trailer gameplay trailer and see how it is it's like in Smash 4, they we give an, an analysis and total, uh, total knockdown of how Joker is, and along with his sword, or some people want to call it dagger, even though it looks, even though the dagger is a uh, shape is a size length of a sword, so we're just gonna call it a sword no matter what. 
but either way guys um I think I think that's how it's gonna be and I can't wait cannot wait to see how it will go and where I like to see it most of all is some improvements um the arena system I want it to be where they you can anyone can see anyone well basically anyone who just wants to look at the match won't have to take a slot out and I think that's gonna happen the only thing is that it's gonna take some adjustments on because like there's probably gonna be a lot of people there could be a hundred people watching one arena so there will have to be some adjustments but maybe something similar to what they have on the spectator mode in, in online and speaking of online, I think Smashdown and Tourney is going to make a return online just as it did in Smash 4. And one more feature that's going to be uh, pretty big, um, I think it's going to make it's going to be interesting. And I think it's going to be something huge as well um, for online that everybody's going to like. But Smash... Smashdown would be an interesting way if they were to do it for online, in my opinion. And I think they should go for it, but of course there will be some uh, limits, like the scoring, like the highest score wins, like stuff like that. They're going to have to do something about that, like if it were, if it were to be online. One more thing, uh, s s um, Smash, well not Smash Run, um, well actually I think Break the targets and um, stadium. Oh, sorry, not stadium. Um, Mr. What should I call it? Homework contest and break the targets are going to make a return, and I think it's going to be possible through the next update. And I like to see that happen, especially since it's a high possibility, in my opinion, due to Datamon. And I think Nintendo should go for it if they were if this is confirmed and I can't wait to happen if they announce it it's return one more thing that I like to talk about is the um another another one will they announce another character at the end of direct I don't know E3 is near around the corner of April so it's a hype it's a possibility we might get a character or then again we could just get a character a character reveal but not a character a gameplay trailer so well uh, it's a possibility now people are saying the next character is going to be a square and character rep we're going to test that theory and see who our next character is going to be so who knows I do think it's possible, and I like to see what the new character is myself. I do think it's gonna be a Square Enix character or Chrono Trigger if possible. But um, comment down what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe for more discussion videos and of course the games. And until then, this is your boy Iron Smasher 1024 here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.